level one, Jesse Webb Traders Pro. Market conditions uh, remaining bullish in a bull market right here. We're uh, definitely towards the upper end of that range. We're seeing uh, momentum continue to work its way higher. It's been a really nice orderly uh, market uptrend really the last couple of months here. And so not the straight up, straight down. We'll continue to see how this continues to work, but momentum and breadth are improving. We're seeing sentiment, which is towards the upper end of that range. We are, you know, we are extreme on momentum and sentiment and breadth doesn't necessarily have to be extreme as well, but we know that we are towards the upper end of that range. Buy sell ratio is also bullish right here. We're sitting at 1.62. So not, you know, nothing, again, super exciting, but it's just it's a breadth itch issue. It's a number of participants, a number of stocks that are participating in this rally is just, um, it's just a few stocks. I shouldn't say a few, but there are a few major stocks that are just leading the market higher in the S&P 500. Uh, it's just not a broad based rally, but nonetheless, it is still continuing to go higher. We are seeing sentiment, which is pushing its way back up a little bit here, 70 Nine. If we take a look at bonds, we've seen bonds, which have also had a little bit of strength here. This candle, which, uh, which we had Friday, showing some strength inside of that 50% retracement zone. We talked about this each morning as we are still continuing to watch interest rates and dealing with inflation and some of those other things. Some interesting numbers here also when we jump in and, and look at uh, the sectors. If we look at sectors, for the most part, we're seeing that a continued strength in sectors as a whole. Uh, we've seen energy uh, move its way back up again. And in fact, that energy, we saw uh, oil continuing to strength here in this upper zone now. It's finding support at that 73.56. Had a big move on Friday again. So uh, potentially could have cleared that 73.5 range, finding support now and working its way back towards the upside. This oil rally, it's, uh, it's been, you know, it hasn't had a big move here, but it's taking time to kind of chop out that bottom, see how that progresses. We did see a nice pop in gold. Uh, Friday as well, a potential breakout and continuation trade there on on uh, on gold. Keep your eye on that. Keep your eye on gold right here because this potential breakout as it's moving higher, it's already at um, a, a really major major resistance area right here uh, that's been that's been in place for about five years or so. And so watching for continued breakout momentum in gold uh, could see uh, could see some nice momentum there going over the you know, longer term trade, something in the, in the um, um, uh, you know, a couple of years over time. But uh, nonetheless, in the shorter term, we're seeing some confirmation on that as well. I was going to point out some of these, you know, when we're talking about inflation, we talk about wheat, we talk about food prices, we're seeing wheat, which is continuing to drop. We're seeing corn, which is also continuing to drop. And we're seeing uh, really, that's the only ones I've got on here as far as food, but we're seeing natural gas, which has been dropping. We did see wood prices, lumber prices. We talked about that moving higher. Not necessarily that these are what uh, the inflation numbers are based on, but it's interesting to see some of those things continue to move lower. I'd love to see oil moving lower. Uh, let's take a look at some of the muscle stocks for the day. We've got CNTA, which has got a nice looking pattern. We're still continuing to see lots of medical stocks, lots of biotech, lots of drug stock, lots of pharmaceutical, uh, and they're continuing to work and move higher at these levels. So keep an eye on these. Uh, There's a nice pattern here with the support area at the 236 and really double confirmation here with uh, with a new buy signal as of Friday on CTNA, C CNTA. And uh, really the top few that we're seeing here, continuing to see medical services, biotech, you know, lots of, lots of really cool technologies that are developing here and taking place, especially with AI really moving into this space as well. This uh, continue, could continue to be a hot spot here. We also saw Eli, Eli Lilly, which is obviously a major mega cap, uh, large cap pharma, and seeing some support here around that you know, $730, $40 range and confirmation buy right here. Uh, some nice things to consider for the week. Keep an eye on those market conditions as they're moving higher. Remember to manage your overall risk on each of the trades as you're building out your portfolio. Um, if you would like to join me each morning for my muscle wheel portfolio in the Discord channel, there's a link that you can learn more in the footer. And we look forward to having you. Have a fantastic day today.